Because last minute I pulled an audible on the gospel reading. I wanted to take the gospel reading from today as we celebrate the, also the feast of St. Cecilia. Um, same day as Thanksgiving. Jesus says, If this day you only knew what makes for peace, but now it is hidden from your eyes because you did not recognize the time of your visitation. St. Cecilia is a patroness of musicians. And I think that's the most perfect occasion to celebrate on Thanksgiving. Because Thanksgiving can only become, can only come as a fruit of joy and of the recognition of the gifts that you've been given. And St. Augustine has a line, he said, only lovers know how to sing. No one else can really sing. And love transforms life into a song. No matter what you're going through. And St. Cecilia, the patroness of singers, is such a great example of that because she had a life of deep suffering but also one of the deepest gratitude because she always recognized the time of her visitation. You know, when she was young, she had a deep conversion. She lived in the second century in Rome when Christianity was outlawed and she had a deep conversion to Christ so much so that she promised herself to be a virgin forever, consecrated to Him. But her parents did not understand this because it wasn't the usual way. And so they tried to force her to marry uh, someone in the Roman guard named Valeria. And it says that as a, y- a young girl, she was always singing a song to the Lord in her heart. But now when all her dreams were crashing down, she's being forced to marry. Uh, the tradition says that on her wedding day, she continued to sing a song to the Lord in her heart. And even after the wedding day, she told her husband, Valerian, I'm sorry, but there's an angel always watching over me. So if you try to violate me in any way, you will be struck dead. And he said, well, how do I know this is true? And he goes, if you become baptized, you will be able to see the angel and you'll know. And so sure enough, he went to the uh, local priest there. He was baptized. He saw the angels that were always around her protecting her consecration to God. And because of that, he converted. But when the Romans found out that he'd become a Christian, they ended up martyring him. And it says that at the time of his martyrdom, Cecilia would continue to sing a song to the Lord in her heart. And then now she has all the money, all the possessions that he had is now in her care. So what does she do? She goes to the poor in the streets and she begins giving everything away which then aroused again the anger of the Praetorian Guard. which they, So they led her out at one point um, to lead her to martyrdom. And what do you think she was doing as she was going out there? Singing a song to the Lord in her heart. No matter what she passed through, no matter what sufferings or trials were on the way, she never stopped singing a song to the Lord in her heart. Why? because she recognized the time of her visitation. She never lost sight of Christ with her. And that's what the gospel is talking about today. Jesus is looking over Jerusalem from a distance, a short time before he's about to be crucified. All the the entire scriptures is leading up to the, the longing of the people for the Messiah. For the one to save them from their suffering. And here he is. God in the flesh. In their midst. And they missed it. They didn't recognize the time of their visitation. And so Jesus is looking on this from a distance. Weeping. And saying everything will be crumbled now. Because you do not know what makes for peace. It has been hidden from your eyes. Because you didn't recognize the time of my visitation. Thanksgiving should never be a product of just looking at the good things that happened in our life. 
whether it was a good year or a bad year. But a true thanksgiving, Christian thanksgiving, is something that can happen at every moment of our lives, especially the difficulties. We can always continue singing a song to the Lord in our hearts when we recognize the time of our visitation, when we recognize God's presence with us wherever we're at right now. And that's the difficulty because so much in life, we just want to get over the next hill. If only I can get this job or this security or this relationship right, get through school, get to the next place, then I can sing a song of thanksgiving. And we live our whole life always looking for the next thing and never praising God with a song in our heart right here and now. So that's what I invite you to do right now. Whatever you're going through, what's the most difficult thing you've had to go through this year? Maybe it's still with you right now. Can you sing a song to the Lord in your heart in the midst of it? Can you praise Him in the midst of the fires of life? Because when you recognize Him there, you're safe. Nothing can ever shake you. Nothing could ever break you. You found the secret of peace, which is the presence of Christ with us at every single moment of our life. That's really the secret of thanksgiving. It's living life as a lover. Living life as a song. Because no matter what I'm going through, God is always pursuing me. He's always finding a way to bring me closer to Him no matter what it is. That's why the most perfect thing we can do on Thanksgiving is celebrate the Mass, the Eucharist. What does the Eucharist mean? Thanksgiving. Why? Because the Eucharist is the fullness of the presence of God with us right here, right now. Body, blood, soul, and divinity. And when we recognize the time of our visitation, right here, right now, in the midst of whatever we're going through in life, Jesus Christ coming to us and encountering us where we're at, that's when the most authentic song can arise from the depths of our hearts. And our life, no matter what's going on, can become a song of thanksgiving because we have recognized the time of our visitation and we have found the secret to peace.